Hey everyone, this is Nikki Dix Girly. Welcome to my channel, Dix Girly Likes BGDs, where I talk about my experiences with ball jointed dolls and some other dolls sometimes too. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting once again. It's been like a month and a half since my last video, around there. Um, and so much has happened again. Stuff I did not expect to happen, but happened anyways. Um, and I figured it was time for me to crawl my way back up here and make another Wine and Dollies video before the upgate, updates <laughs> become too many to talk about, I guess. Um, I have been meaning to do some of the tags that were floating around in July. I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm going to put it in my mind to attempt to do them soon. Uh, I have the worst work ethic when it comes to YouTube recently, like for the past six months or so. Um, I just, uh, it's hard for me to find motivation to do it, which sucks because especially, at least on this channel, it's all about my dolls. I don't know why I, it's like sectioned in my mind as a chore or like something that is hard to do, because it's not. It's fun talking about dollies. But for some reason, I overthink it, and it becomes a thing, and I get anxious about it, and I procrastinate and put it off. It, it's crazy. I don't know. I'm crazy, guys. But I have some updates to talk to you, talk about with you guys. I have a water. 3.15 a.m. Uh, so I'm gonna film this and then probably head to bed and uh, actually get it uploaded tomorrow after I wake up. But, um, so where do I start? So I have a bunch of dolls to show you, <laughs> um, but I'll start with um, within days after making that last video. Um, Fairyland, who, if you've been paying attention to my collection, it's almost entirely Fairyland now, uh, mini fees. Um, they, they were at a doll show, I believe, in Tokyo. It was one of the iDoll shows, and I think it was in Japan. Um, and some, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was a Russian fan site of some sort of doll thing took pictures when I didn't think they were supposed to take pictures of a new mini fee that Fairyland had not announced yet. Uh, mini fee Maya. She's, and like, <laughs> I feel like the biggest BJD presence, at least for me, the biggest sense of community that I have is on Instagram. Uh, I don't know if that's just where I connect more with people because there's a lot of like-minded people uh, on Instagram for me, like mini fee focused people, <laughs> I should say, or just, I don't know, the, the hobby seems to be most active on Instagram for me anyways. Um, that's where I have the most contacts and friends and everything, but everyone got so excited about her. She's a beautiful doll. Um, she's like a... I think Russian bride inspired. She has this beautiful headpiece. It has a name and I can't, I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, I don't really know anything about Russian culture, but um, the doll herself is gorgeous. She has these big lips. Oh, she's so pretty. But I knew I had to have her. <laughs> And they hadn't officially announced her yet, so I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm like, how, when is this doll going to be released? I don't know. <laughs> um, and actually, people or someone had contacted Fairyland about it and asked when she was going to be released, and they played dumb. <laughs> they said they had never heard of Mini Fimaya. Uh, and where did they find this info? <laughs> and then probably about a week later, uh, 
Kim Sunhua, Sunhua. Um, I follow them on Facebook actually because they always announce the new products on their Facebook. Um, I believe they're one of the creative directors of Fairyland or one of the designers of Cerebrus Project. I don't know, but they always post the uh, new Fairyland items on their page on Facebook. So I follow them on Facebook. Um, like I follow their feed to their personal page because they always post them publicly. Um, and they announced her shortly thereafter. And then a little while later, Denver Doll opened up to, uh, to orders of her. Um, but they also, at the same time, I was gonna hold off on her. I'm like, well, I'll just wait and get her when my finances are looking good to get her. Um, and <laughs> so, <laughs> of course, they announced a summer event, which I thought they were going to skip this year because if you look back on when the summer events happened, they typically happened in June and July. And this one goes basically from the end of July until August 31st, I think. So it was late this year, so I didn't think it was gonna actually happen. So I fell into the, the hype trap and I had to order her right then. Um, she's available on a la carte already. Um, they don't even list like a basic version of her. Like typically with the Fairyland releases, they'll put, uh, you know, like the full set and they'll have two different kinds of the full set. Um, and then they'll list a basic doll with the same pictures and everything. They didn't even do that for her. They just listed the two full set options and then added her name in the a la carte section. So I ended up selling things to uh, get the money for her first and second payment um, because I wanted her desperately. <laughs> so uh, I ended up selling my little fee, my honey delf, my uh, let's honey delf, and the boy, <laughs> I know. <laughs> And well, and uh, the sold all Yon B, who never even made it to be a full doll in my collection. Um, I sold her with the condition that I'd be buying her body with the partial payment of not buying her body, but paying for her body shipping with. Uh, because I was still owed BJ Diva's 40 something dollars to get her to ship to me. Um, so I used some of the payment for the sale of her. Oh goodness, I look like a lion. Um, I used some of the payment that I got from her sale to actually ship the body to me. And then I shipped it out to the person. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, I sold those four dolls from my collection, so if you've been keeping any sort of track on where my collection's at, uh, it's all mini fees and Stasia now. <laughs> Stasia's never going to go anywhere, and I, I'm 100% firm on that. I know I talk a lot of talk on here and end up doing other things, but Stasia will never go anywhere. Um, so... But my collection has definitely become mini fees at this point. Um, and I'm so happy with where it's going and it makes, it makes me so happy. So um, yeah, I enjoy it. Um, but I sold them and initially I was gonna use all the money I got and just pay off Maya. Well, fell into the trap of looking at the BJD sales hashtag on um, Instagram. And uh, yeah, you guys know I've had a floating head problem recently. 
They're like Pringles, guys. Can't stop once I have them. So, <laughs> got a bunch more heads. That's what I'm gonna show you in this video that I've taken 10 minutes to talk about here. Um, but as far as updates go, I did sell those four dolls and um, ordered, I ordered a Minifee Maya actually in tan. If you remember on my last Wine and Dollies, uh, at the end of the video, I talked about wanting to order a tan doll. Well, I, I did, it wasn't the tan dolls that I was debating between, but I, I, got, I decided to get her in tan and I fully blame that decision on my friend, uh, Jessica Sighthound Lady. We were talking about how, how beautiful Fairyland's tan is and how beautiful Maya would be in tan. So uh, yeah, she enabled me and I ended up ordering Maya in tan. Um, I got the sleeping head with her, which I actually sold after the fact the other day uh, because I needed the money for something. Oh, I wanted to make sure I had enough money to cover all the shipping from everything I sold. I did. I sold some clothes too, um, so I was doing all kinds of sales, and I wanted to make sure I had the full amount being able to cover what I needed to to ship everything. Um, so I sold the. I guess it's technically a split now that I'm hosting, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm getting everything, uh, but the sleeping head. Um, and I just ordered the basic a la carte doll. I didn't order the full set doll. Um, no makeup, of course, because I do my face ups myself. And then I ordered like some hands and heel feet and stuff I, to bump it up to the 600 uh, because I wanted the free event head. The free event head, the mini fee event head, has the grumpiest little look on her face. Um, but I think she'll turn out cute. <laughs> like a little frown um, but one of my friends pointed out that her frown looked a lot like Lucy Wynn's frown so um, I think I'll like her once I um, give her a face up so yeah I ordered that and um, so she is on layaway right now um, and what did I do next I guess I'll show you in, them in any sort of order. I, I went on a mass like buying head spree <laughs> and then getting wigs for the head spree. Um, so a bunch of new dolls. I mean, they're not full dolls, you know. I have so many floating heads at this point that it's gonna take me literally 20 years to buy bodies for them all. Uh, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I consider them full dolls anyways. They just all share their bodies. <laughs> but I'll show you the one that's not new um, that I just wanted to show you an update on. So this girl, you remember, uh, Gwen, um, I wasn't happy with her lips. She originally had brown lips, didn't like that face up, wiped it, then couldn't get the, the center right here of her lips because she has a parting in her lips. I couldn't get it completely clean, even with a toothpick and rubbing alcohol. So I just gave her some black lips instead. I like her. I think she turned out cute. She's another little goth babe in my group. The dark lipstick, kind of punk, kind of edgy. Um, so I'm liking her updated look. Let me know what you think of her. That's all the updates for her. Um, then you'll remember in my last video, uh, my Sarang 2019 uh, event head did not have a wig yet. Um, and I had a wig on the way. Well, that wig ended up going to sell a new head instead. But, um, I, and then I, I got a wig that was on the way last time and I tried it on her instead and i wasn't really feeling it and i ended up selling that wig um it was an acrylic mohair wig uh by rendall shop i believe is their etsy store name um beautiful wig it just wasn't 
it wasn't what I wanted for her. So um, I found this wig instead um, from someone I follow on Instagram and it was a secondhand wig by Recent Obsession, who I have several wigs from now. Um, and I just, I thought it would look good on her. So, um, and then I ended up giving this girl a name. Her name is Marky, which is kind of awkward because I have a friend named Marky on Facebook, but I really liked that name for her. So yeah, she's an inspiration, name inspiration. Um, but here is Marky. You can see I switched out her eyes. Um, the one she had been wearing, they looked good with this, but the, I just feel like these brown ones look better for this look. Also, I got this dress from Doll Fashion Disco. Um, she makes really cute stuff. It's uh, like limited stuff and she only sells on Instagram. So give her a follow if you haven't already. She makes really cute stuff. Obviously gotta love Pokemon. So yeah, that's Marky. And then um, so then I saw for sale a mini fee Reina head. Um, so not an event head for a change, um, but she was at a really good price and she was discounted. Um, I think I paid 45 for her. Um, plus I had eBay bucks. So her head, it was just her head for sale. And um, it had damage to the face up. I believe it was a company face up actually. Um, it had damage to the face up so they were selling it at a discount. Um, the damage wasn't even that bad. It was a couple of rubs on the cheek and on the chin area here. Um, but I was gonna remove the face up anyways. So um, yeah, the way they explained it, they had said that she had like dimples or something or spots where she had been dropped or something dense but it wasn't at all it was just damage to the face up and like i said i was wiping it anyways so yep um and i commissioned um marina <laughs> big wig for bjd from marina y on etsy um i commissioned her to make this wig and i gave it to the reina so here's what she looks like her name, what did I name her? Piper. So yeah, this is my mini Fiorina Piper on Mimi's body. <laughs> I, I frantically gave them all uh, bodies from my existing dolls. Like Mimi always wears this outfit now. This is like Mimi's signature outfit, my mini Fi Mio. Um, but there's a couple of doll bodies that rotate outfits and like the heads tend to go on instead of dolls, bodies that never change their clothes. Does that make sense? I, probably doesn't make any sense. But uh, this is just Mimi's body. <laughs> I feel like changing the outfit um, because I'm just gonna put Mimi's head right back on. Um, but for the sake of the video, she is on it. So yeah, that's Piper. And then I'll save my favorite for last. Okay, so um, I have some heads that are not complete yet. I wouldn't consider them complete dolls yet. Um, one doesn't even have a face up yet because it came in the mail yesterday. Um, like the day before yesterday because it's 3 a.m. But um, this is the summer, I believe it's summer 2017 event head. Yeah, it's got Korean in there. Just says 2017 and then something in Korean. Um, but I believe it's the summer 2017 event head or is it spring? can't remember okay so <laughs> I know one of these is the spring 
2017 event head and one is the summer one. I'd have to go look at their hashtags and see which is which. Um, this poor girl. Look at her ears. They look so dirty and it's, it's so upsetting to me. What happened was, is I did her face up and I got it almost all the way to the finishing point brought it outside to spray and had the biggest dits moment ever and didn't shake the can and sprayed way too close to the head and this grainy like gray beige film covered the entire face up and completely ruined it. I was so upset and I had to wipe it completely and because I was upset while I was wiping it, I was not careful about it. And so much of what the eye makeup I had done got into her ears. So now they're probably stained that way and I can't get them any cleaner. I tried desperately when I redid her face up later that night, but um, I don't know. <laughs> It doesn't look completely horrible and the way I put my dolls anyways, you rarely see their ears anyways because their hair from their wig covers it. But um, there is this girl. I do have two wigs on the way. Um, so they'll get them and um, we'll see who she becomes. I'm, I'm happy with how her face up turned out though. It's a little bit dark. But she looks good. I tried her with a, another doll's wig and she does look good. So I'm excited to see her final look. And this girl's a really cute sculpt. So I'm excited to see her too. I also have um, a Nanuri 17 on the way. I will be making it a girl. That one's actually been stuck in customs for like nine days, 10 days now, coming from the UK. So I don't know what's going on with that. I had two, two heads shipped from the UK around the same time. Um, and one went right through customs and made it to me like a week and a half ago and the other one is stuck there. So I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> um, but hopefully it will get here okay. Um, the Nanuri 2017 sculpt is very, uh, has very strong features so a lot of people end up making it a boy but I am a fan of some people that have theirs as a girl and I really like it so I'm gonna try my hand at making uh, mine a girl obviously since I have a troop of girls here <laughs> um, and then I got this girl this girl um, was for sale on, or well, her head was for sale on Instagram. And I was on the lookout for a mini fee Rin um, because I've recently kind of fallen in love with her sculpt and liked her. Um, so when I saw this doll, this is actually a mini fee dreaming Rin. She was an event head at some point. I don't know what year at all. Um, but I know she was an event head, um, and she had almost all the way closed eyes with just, just the dreaming eyes, kind of like Stasia, uh, where it has the barely open eyes. But this person that I, well, not the person I bought it from, but the person they bought it from, modded her eyes open. So she's a mini fee dreaming elf Rin with an eye mod. Um, and I think she came out really cute. What did I name you? Oh, I named her Reagan, um, which actually someone had suggested Regan and I misread it as Reagan and kind of fell in love with the name Reagan for her. So that's how she ended up with that name. Um, but yeah, she was my first attempt at freckles. <laughs> And her face up's done, been done a couple of times. I did it one way and her cheeks came out kind of splotchy because I had removed excessive redness and then like freckled over it. And then I took pictures of her and 
everyone loved that face up, but I, in person, it was splotchy and it was driving me nuts. So I blushed over it. And then <laughs> the next day when it was daylight and I looked at her in daylight, she was so red in the face. So I took pictures of her like that. You can see each phase of her on my Instagram. Um, and I was gonna keep her like that, but then it started to annoy me. And <laughs> I found with the face ups, if I don't like something, I'll never be able to just live with it. <laughs> if it bothers me, I need to just wipe it and start over. Um, but I, and luckily I didn't have to do over her entire face up. So um, I just took off the excessive redness and reblushed her a little and then put the freckles back on. So she is my first face up with freckles. Um, this wig is from Recent Obsession. She had a couple wigs for sale the other, um, it was like two weeks ago. I don't know, I've lost track of time, but um, she makes beautiful wigs and um, she had this pastel rainbow one that was gorgeous, but I missed out on it by like minutes. <laughs> and it was I was lucky to even get this one because I was like, I had woken up. She posted them early in the morning from me at least. Um, and I had just by chance woken up and looked at my phone on Instagram and I was gonna go right back to sleep, but I saw it and I was like, oh. <laughs> but uh, I missed out on the pastel rainbow one, but it went to another YouTuber uh christine uh i think her youtube channel name is christine c i believe her name on uh instagram is amaya bjd um but she got it and it's gorgeous um i actually um am in contact with marina right now she <laughs> i think i sang her praises a bit too much because <laughs> she now has like a little wait list going on for commissioned wigs so I'm gonna attempt to commission her uh, at some point soon here for, uh, if I can come up with the funds, uh, for a rainbow, uh, pastel rainbow um, Angora wig. Not alpaca like the one that Recent Obsession made, but Angora. And hopefully it will come out cute. Um, <laughs> she seems, poor Marina seems a bit overwhelmed right now. I think, <laughs> I think I recommended her too much. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, her English isn't the absolute best. So there can be a little bit of, um, lost in translation kind of, um, for as far as emotion and at intent and stuff like that. But <laughs> she uh, will hopefully work on one for me soon, if I can. Um, and I think that wig will probably end up going to the Maya because I want her to look just stunning. <laughs> and I think pastel color wigs look really pretty on the tan skin dolls. So, I mean, I have a pastel wig fetish anyways, but. But yes, this is Reagan. And then this girl, um, she just got her wig yesterday. Um, this wig is another gorgeous wig by Sleepy Sheepy. I was so lucky to get this one. Um, I had funds right from selling all that stuff right when she put it up, so I was like, yes. <laughs> um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It looks, I don't know if this was her inspiration, but there is a bird that has coloring like this. And that's what it reminds me of. Um, but this is Mini P Momo. So I put out um, like a want to buy on Instagram of a, a couple different heads I was looking for. Like I put the Rin on there. Um, I said if anyone happened to have an Eru, even in just normal skin, uh, I forget what else I put on there, but a Momo was on there because I really like the Momo sculpt. I think she's super cute. I love her lips. 
um, and her big eyes. So I put that out and not, I went to bed and then <laughs> the next day, as soon as I woke up, um, I had two messages, one from one of my friends saying that one of her friends had it, uh, one coming in and I should get in contact with her and when, <laughs> another message from that friend saying, uh, oh, I have this coming in and they were buying a fairy line body that happened to, they just wanted the body that happened to come with a Momo head. So, uh, yeah, she sold me the Momo head and I got that and I did a face up on her and I'm really happy with how she came out. So this is my mini fee Momo and I am being completely uncreative with her name and she's the only one I'll ever do this for, but she's keeping the name Momo. Um, I think she just looks like a Momo and that name kind of really fits in with my collection anyways, with the Kikis and Mimis and I don't know. I just, she is Momo to me. So yeah, that's his Momo. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I love her so much. I love her expression. Okay. So finally my favorite doll of the bunch who this this sculpt this sculpt i also put out a want to buy for and this was very shortly after i made my last video i put out a want to buy for this sculpt and one of my followers contacted me almost immediately and said hey i have one for sale want to buy it and then, yes yes please um, because I've loved the sculpt for a very long time and I thought she was hard to find. Maybe I'm b kind of lucky in that I have a big following on Instagram because um, when I put out those want to buys they get answered pretty easily. Um, so having that extra reach when I'm doing want to buys or actually selling things seems to help me a lot. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but um, I thought this girl was harder to find, but I got, like I said, she offered to me her, she offered her to me right away. So this is a mini fee. <laughs> I call her Flom. <laughs> if it's the F L A M head, which stands for, um, I think fairy line anniversary mini feet or something like that. I looked up the origins of the name and then on the inside of her head it actually says fairy line RA. So she's also known as mini feet RA. Uh, this is the human version. There was a human version and an elf version. Uh, I have no idea which is harder to find. Um, but uh, yeah, someone had her head sitting in a draw from the event years ago and uh, sold her to me and I am so thrilled with this doll. She is so gorgeous. I think I'm really drawn to the mini fees with large eyes. Um, they're just so pretty to me. Um, and this girl has beautiful big eyes. I, <laughs> I tried 12 millimeter in her, no, they you can, they don't fit at all. <laughs> so 14 millimeter looks really good in her. I have, um, she's wearing some lemon jelly eyes that I ordered um, that were a, a uh, commission. Um, and I have some other eyes on order for him, with him right now, but um, he's still working on them. And, um, but yeah, this girl, I call her Flom because I read F-L-A-M as Flom. And if you're a Final Fantasy fan like me, you'll know that those little gelatinous, <laughs> jello looking magic monsters called Floms. <laughs> That's just what I think of the name as, is when I read that, I think of Flom. So that's what I'm gonna call her and continue to call her. And she's the, well, I couldn't say she's the first sculpt, but I could see myself owning an army of Floms. 
I love this sculpt so much. So enough talking about her. Let me show you her. This is the wig I had commissioned from Marina that I was talking about in the last video that was originally gonna go to the Sarang, but I knew when I saw this wig in person and my flum, she had to have it. It's just beautiful. So um, this is my mini fee flum, Kennedy. I am absolutely in love with her. This wig came out beautiful, by the way. Marina did an amazing job with it. Um, it looks even better than the reference photo I gave her. So, <laughs> um, and she, I will say one thing for Marina, her pictures that she takes do not do her wigs enough justice. She tends to take her pictures with flash indoors, probably at night. Um, and her wigs are just so much prettier in person. Um, so I will say that about her wigs if you're ever interested in them. They are so much prettier in person, especially um, the Angora ones. But that is Kennedy. I used the name Kennedy before for a, an old pull-up of mine and I just wanted to reuse the name. I think it's a really cute name for a girl. So that is my mini Fee Flum. She's my baby doll. <coughs> but I'm so in love with her right now. So yeah, those are all, all my new girls. Crazy. So I promise I won't pop back up a month from now and have six more heads to show you because I don't have anything else I can sell to afford those heads. <laughs> and I still need to pay off my Maya. So um, yeah, I guess I'll update you guys once I do this girl's face up and once uh, this girl gets a wig and I get a name for her and everything. And hopefully my Nanuri will come in and uh, yeah. But those were all my updates. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do tag videos kind of soon. Uh, we will see how it goes. I don't know. I still need to reply to comments from <laughs> the last wine of Dolly, so I apologize for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like any of my new dolls, let me know in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, check out my Instagram that is much more updated than here I usually post if not once a day multiple times a day <laughs> um, so um, yeah check out that and I think that's everything I have to say thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye